What's up guys, it's Chevy on Red here. Back with another video for you guys. I got a really, not say it's a good update, but it's pretty decent, I guess. So um, it is May 4th and my tags are due on the 8th. So you guys know I live in California. My car is out of Nevada. So this morning I drove up to Reno this morning, got my car small, about to go pick up my tags on the DMV. And I stopped by Summit Racing again. And I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to get my get some stuff for the truck. Something something that you can't see, but you can just feel it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and bite the bullet, man. I, I you know, I made pretty good money this week at work and everything. You know, all that. So I was like, let me go ahead and um, get something, you know, something that I've kind of been looking at, been reading about and everything. So I'm gonna show you what it is right now. I didn't open the box yet, because I want you guys to see it first. We were unboxing and everything. I didn't open it yet, but I got a Jet Power Performance Module Tuner thing, whatever. Warning label. So let's uh, crack this open. This is awesome. This is for 96 to 2000, 435057 and 74s. So open this up. Let me put you guys down and open this this box right quick. Oh, and the phone falls right. All right. Warning label. All right. So this is the warning label it has on there. It says electrical part not refunded if this bag is broken. All right. Cool. Instructions here, important customer notice. Return any reason must be authorized by calling Jet. Oh, okay, that's just that stuff. Okay. So, open this box up. And this is it. You probably think, what does this thing cost me? All right, so it cost me 345 bucks. I got some other stuff. So, actually, it was like three. Um, discount code I got I think it was like three for this alone no this was 295 discount code for this I got some other stuff so we're gonna have to plug this in um, got some instructions here not really actually you don't have any instructions here actually please call jet first and return this product to the place of purchase okay all right, so we got some stickers here, you know, some go fast stickers. You know, just performance. So, this is a registration card, probably. You gotta send in for your warranty. Yeah, that's that. And installation guide. Okay, so it says during installation, any of any electrical parts of your vehicle always disconnect your battery first. All right, do that. All right, so. I'm gonna go ahead and um, unwind this thing. I think it's like you're supposed to cut the key on. It's gonna save the stock too. And we're gonna be tuning this for shift points. I already have a vet servo on this transmission. So we're gonna do shift points. We're gonna do, uh, uh, we're gonna do the, the rev limiter. We're gonna do the speedometer. Cause of my funny shoes I have on there. We're gonna do that. And this just plugs in uh, right here. Your OBD port. Plug that in. Okay. Comes on. Turn ignition key on. Press the key. Waiting to connect. And I just dropped this thing. All right. VIN number, 97 Vortec truck, programming, yes. Uh, jet easy program, nope, we're gonna do a custom program. Modify engine size, no. Automatic trans, yeah. Modify shift points, yeah. Modify one, two shift point, yeah. 
stock shift. Let's see if we push the other button. Yeah. So six miles an hour. We're gonna try that. My five two three, yes. Oh wait, yes. Stock. Maybe let's go to the max, I guess, to see what happens. I don't blow my transmission up. Modify three four, yes, yeah, stock. Oh shit. Modify firmness, yes. Um, rev limiter. We're gonna go yes. Stock limiter. We're gonna go up to another. Uh, let's just do another. We're gonna try another another three hundred. Okay. My five speedometer, speed limiter, yes. Stock. We're gonna take this damn thing up to. Hundred and <laughs> this truck was two hundred fifty-five miles an hour. Uh, we'll keep it at um, we'll keep it at one twenty-eight. Modify tire size, yes. We have okay. I can't modify that. Cause I had to measure my tires on it size those are so we're gonna go just keep that there modify gear ratio yes we have 373s modify choices new no. all right oh, it's gonna be a minute for this this saves so I'm gonna pause the video here, and I think this shouldn't. I think Kevin Robinson. I think he did his. It's like two minutes, whatever. But I'm not gonna sit here and you know do this with you guys. So I'm gonna go outside and show you what else we got planned for the truck today, which you're not gonna be able to see either. So anyway, um, today we're gonna replace the starter today on the truck. Uh, we're gonna replace the positive battery cable on the truck. I'm gonna show you why actually right now while we're sitting here waiting for this to do this do this thing. Uh, I'm pop the hood over the front of the truck. So we're gonna we're gonna change out this cable. Um, this one runs to the fuse box, and then we got some one right here, alternator, and the big one here goes to the starter. We're gonna change it out because when my dad had the original amps and everything put in the truck, they just cut the battery wires up. They cut both of them up to fit the amp wire on. This is my. Um, charging wire that I did to upgrade my charging system and we're gonna be doing the big three also on this truck today if I can get around to that part but mainly the main focus today is just to get the starter changed out um, and the cable if the big three happens and it happens if it doesn't it doesn't whatever I don't really care um, I ordered some uh, new terminals also from um, uh, I think they're called um, they're called the ultimate terminal but who makes some, I think it's called New Concept or Cool Concept, something like that. They're out of, uh, I think, Ohio or something like that. Like 70 bucks. I ordered four of them, uh, two for this and two for Suburban. Um, we doing that today also, too. Um, yeah, that's about it. So we're going to check this out in here, see if it's all done. Close the hood on that. Get back and I gotta measure my tire size on these so I can uh, do my speedometer and correct my speedometer. And let's see where we're at. Okay, so it's not bad. I'm gonna pause the video here and wait till it's done. I'll come back in a second. Alright, now it's saving. Now it's gonna put the new tune in there. Hopefully, it'll wake this thing up. I might try out the, um, I probably should have tried out, out the, the jet uh, personal tuning thing or the, the self tuning thing, whatever. Um, it's funny, this thing didn't ask for fuel, for, um, for a uh, fuel type. It's weird. Oh, so we're back to this part now. Okay. So I guess we'll just sit here, I guess, until they're done. But I'm, I'm gonna pause it for you guys. I'm gonna let you guys watch the whole thing because it's probably gonna be like a few more minutes. So back in a second 
All right, so it's almost done. Do, 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 do. I'll play around with the tune I put in here, and I'm probably going to be changing it. We'll see how it is. Um, also, you guys, you guys recall last year, I was up here last year to get my car smoked. I had my exhaust that I found about my exhaust muffler being you know, fucked up and everything. Done, clear, please wait. key off Ignition key off press any key all right so um like I was gonna see you guys recall I had a um my I was probably had last year in my car uh when I had my flow mattress 40 put on at the shop in Vegas they cut a hole in one side of muffler to be a dual and one out muffler um, now I'm running the Dynamax bullet muffler and I got my Volant intake also on there and I'm going to tell you this when I drove from SAC to up here which is only 140 100, actually it was, it was 130 miles to the small place um, I left SAC on a full tank and I got up here um, and I was at a quarter of a tank and I was like, man, that's a lot of fuel to be burning on like 130 something miles. So my fuel, that's where my fuel is at now, half a tank. So we're gonna go ahead and test drive. Well, I'm gonna test drive this, not, not, not you guys. I'm gonna test drive this, see how this goes. And probably do a review tomorrow or something about it. We'll see what this thing does. you guys in a second all right guys probably can't hear me a lot of road noise over here but um i installed the program the tune for the truck and uh, i read the reviews on some of the stuff and everything that the guys were saying is actually pretty true so when i did the um tuning for it uh i can't remember what it was called but i know it was for the transmission um i'm going up a lot of hills right now going back to sacramento no, well, not a lot, but you know, these hills, or whatever. And I know the truck would downshift on these same hills before. No downshift. Thought those bonds is a whole lot better. Um, I'm gonna have to play with the one, the, um, the one through four shifts because um, it shifts out far as hell now. Uh, probably on it, and the cam that I have is not gonna let me. Well, I mean, um. Not the can, but I still have the uh, limiter at a certain RPM. Um, my gauge only goes to 100 miles an hour. Uh, I do have an Escalade gauge out of a, a 99 Escalade. I'm, I'm gonna drop in and probably run it up one day and see what it does. Um, so far, I'm actually impressed with it. Like I said, it has a downshift. Um, Thought response is, is, is better. It's got uh, some more torque too. I can, I can tell because I'm going up the hill right now and, and it's holding fourth gear like it's nothing. Like, nothing. Um, I'm going to dig deeper into the, the, the jet system and see what their programming is because they have, they have their own self program stuff. Like, um, they put a tune together for you and you just pick one based on like, how you want it to be. Like, I guess it's like towing. You know, miles per gallon on the street, whatever, or some shit. I'm, I'm gonna try one of those out and see how I like those. But um, I'm the only thing I'm, I'm gonna end up changing uh, with the tune I did for this one is probably just the uh, one through four shifts. That's about it. Um, I'm in fourth gear now and still hold fourth gear. Usually, I, usually I'll be in third by now up this hill. And there it goes. I just floored it and downshift a little bit. I didn't have to. I didn't have to just play with it. But um, yeah, it's it's not bad, you know. Um, for two hundred and eighty bucks, I, I got it for. I mean, that's cool with me. Uh, the only thing I, I kind of want to get tuned out of this truck that I I know I can't with this tuner is I want to get the cat delete done. 
because I got my car smog and the guy didn't even look for the cats at all. He didn't even check for cats. And in Nevada, if you run less than 5,000 miles a year, you don't have to I put the camera down. I'm going through a checkpoint now. Um, you don't have to uh, smog your car. So I can put like plastic plates on my car and um, do that where I don't have to smog it if I go over 5,000 miles or 10,000 miles. Whatever it is, something like that. But um, I think I'm, I'm gonna try that. Uh, Black Bear doesn't do it um, unless you put it as like an off-road vehicle. Um, you gotta send them an alpha David saying it's an off-road vehicle now, this and this and this. Um, I can do the 411 swap still and have it done through there and have the EGR delete done also too. I, I probably can do that and then just run like, you know, under 5,000 miles a year and be fine with it. I don't, I don't drive the truck. I, I've driven this truck 2,200 miles to my last smog of last year. And that was me just going to work. And I got my Suburban still and that one might have a little more miles. I'll take it to Texas. Well, no, let's see. Uh, between, between October of last year and now, I've driven it from Vegas, and I was like 577 miles. And then I drove down to the Bay Area, drove around town a little bit. That's why I don't drive that car a lot. I don't. Um, this thing is just holding. It sounds, it, 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 it could be me, but it sounds a lot different also to it. It's got a little more ugh to it, you know. It's got a little more that to it. But uh, I'm gonna go stop over here and get something to eat. I'm hungry, I've been eating all, all morning. And uh, I'm gonna edit these videos for you guys and uh, post it up. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Peace out.